All right, it's time. I've been grinding for a long time. Y'all know that. And it's time I achieve one of my long lost goals. All right, I want 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm a little more than 30,000 away. So please, Pharaohs, help me run my sub count up in the month of September. If you watch this video, please subscribe to my channel. I want to hit 30,000 subscribers in one month to get to 100K. Again, we can do this, Pharaohs. I trust in my Pharaohs. Y'all didn't help me down and pay my bills for over a year. And I know we can do this together. We've been through a lot. The grind ain't never stopped. And we going forward in the month of September. I need about 30,000 subscribers in the month of September to achieve this goal. I'm going to grind my behind off to get to it. I know we got it in us. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. We finna do something amazing and have our moment. By the end of September, 30,000 subscribers in one month. Let's go. Go. All right, I'm at Ludacris Celebrity Basketball Game. Somehow, Lil Duval ended up on John Wall, and he gets crossed out of his shoes, and John Wall finishes with the left-hand jam. After the play, Lil Duval obviously upset. He just got crossed over by an NBA player, starting point guard for the Washington Wizards. Lil Duval, what were you thinking? You're like five foot two and a half. Duval speaks on what happened. First of all, it's clear that he pushed me in the video. So I'm not taking that ill. And second of all, don't y'all fall for the bullshit because I think this is a clear plot from the man to try to break up black family homes. Don't let them use you. Boy, these niggas play dirty out here in the 2017 year. So I'm at the Ludacris game doing a chariot event, you know, for the kids, you know, thinking we're going to have a good time. These niggas dead serious. They playing for real. Hey, I don't think I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna just chill tonight. It's gonna be alright, Fuck you mean it's gonna be alright? That, bitch, that, that crossover ain't do shit to me. All right, the captain of the team that Lil Duval was on was Mike Will made it. He had to, if you seen the footage, had to escort Duval after the court after he got crossed over and again, John Wall finished with the left-handed jam. I'm pissed about this too. Tyler Farrell had some incentive in this too. Duval, d before the game, told Tyler Farrell he was going to do an interview with him. He was like, let me keep warming up. I'd rather do it after the game. I'm old. I was like, okay, little Duval. This is going to be a great interview. My subscribers would love to see this content. You're a small guy, a very funny guy. They love to see that. But after little Duval got crossed from John Wall, he was so pissed that he got crossed over and that Ludacris put five NBA players on that one team. Duval got the hell out of there after the game and I ain't even get my interview. So Duval, when you watch this video, you make sure you understand that Telefair was highly upset that you got out there and thought you could guard John Wall, maybe one of the four or five best point guards in the NBA, let alone guard him in a celebrity basketball game. What were you thinking? Now, I will give Duval this point. Ludacris is wrong for what he did with them teams. On one team, right, it was John Wall, Lou Williams, who in a game like that is not going to miss, Lance Stevenson, and Serge Ibaka on one team. Who's going to win a celebrity basketball game with, I repeat, going against John Wall, Lou Williams at two, Lance Stevenson at the three, it didn't matter who was at the four, and Serge Ubaka blocking everything at the five. And the other team that Duval was on, they didn't have any notable NBA players in their lineup at all. What in the heck was Ludacris thinking when he made these teams? I, Duval does have a point there. Duval, you had no business on one of the best point guards in the NBA in John Wall. You got what you deserved. And because you ain't doing an interview with Telefero, you definitely got what you deserved. I love Lil Duval, but Lord have mercy. John Wall crossed and snatched them ankles. Talk to me in the comment box below. How bad was John Wall's crossover on Lil Duval at the Ludacris Celebrity Basketball game? Thank everybody that took part in me getting coverage. Shout out to Theory for giving me passes to that event. Dope event. I enjoyed myself. Mr. Telefero TV, subscribe to my channel. Most good content like this. I'm out.
I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah.